the president of Venezuela's controversial constituent assembly has blamed opposition groups in the country for the financial sanctions recently imposed by Washington. Speaking at a news conference, Delcy Rodriguez accused them of calling for the restrictions and of encouraging U.S. military action against Venezuela. There is no longer any way to say that a financial blockade against this country has not existed, doesn't exist or isn't worsening, as long as measures of this nature are taken by President Donald Trump, responding to a call by the Venezuelan right wing that insistently, permanently and systematically has requested military intervention by the U.S. government. The new sanctions aim to block Venezuela's government from raising new loans on U.S. financial markets. In response, President Nicolas Maduro says he intends to seek help from China and Russia. Maduro has used President Trump's remark concerning a military option being on the table as an opportunity to galvanize reservist training. The opposition has dismissed the program as an expensive farce. Con profunda eh, tristeza y dolor. Eh, saber que nos sacan de, del aire en Venezuela, lo lamentamos profundamente. Eh, nosotros, repito, siempre hemos trabajado con unos cánones de calidad periodística que implican rigor, contexto y la búsqueda de todos los puntos de vista. Y lo único que esperamos es que algún día el pueblo de Venezuela pueda volver a recibir la señal para seguir trabajando y seguir viendo lo que, están, lo que hacemos aquí sobre el caso de Venezuela. Cada vez está actuando más como una dictadura. Residents of Japan's northernmost island received so-called J alerts on their mobile phones to warn of North Korea's latest missile launch. An email was sent out and loud alarms rang in places, warning the people of Hokkaido to stay indoors. But despite the measures, some say they didn't know what to do. I had no idea where to go. I was confused and a bit lost, said this woman. You can't run away from it. There's no way to run away from it, which is the biggest worry, added another woman. Um. Analysts speculate Pyongyang may have been testing a new intermediate-range missile. Triggers, but I, I think... I think what's most distressing about this new test is the fact that it flew over Japan, landed near uh, the island of Hokkaido. Um, and so, you know, but we need to contextualize it. This is not new. And North Korea is playing with some of the uh, domestic politics in Washington, uh, in Seoul, maybe in Tokyo. Um, you know, on both sides, you've got people who are arguing harder positions and more moderate positions, and actions like this obviously strengthen the hand of hardliners everywhere. He added that the missile flight over the territory of a close U.S. ally could be linked to North Korea's previous threat of creating enveloping fire near a U.S. military hub on the Pacific island of Guam. Getting Europe's migrant crisis under control was the focus at a summit of Europe's big four continental powers and three African nations in Paris on Monday. The leaders sought to agree an action plan, notably to begin the asylum process in Chad and Nigeria. French President Emmanuel Macron had strong words against traffickers linked to terrorism. Some groups of traffickers who traffic weapons and drugs also have links to terrorism that have made the African desert and Mediterranean Sea a graveyard. These groups have deep ties to terrorism. The Libyan Coast Guard intercepted one boat carrying over 100 migrants in the Mediterranean Sea earlier today. North Korea has fired a missile over Japan, drawing anger from its neighbor and marking a sharp escalation of tension in the region. Japan's warning system kicked in, urging people in the north of the country to take cover. The projectile broke into three pieces before crashing into the sea. 
Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said his government had been fully aware of the missile's movement immediately after it was launched and had been taking every measure to secure people's lives. He said this missile poses a serious and grave threat and it greatly damages regional peace and stability. North Korea has conducted dozens of ballistic missile tests under leader Kim Jong-un, the most recent on Saturday, but firing them over mainland Japan is rare. Tokyo has called for increased pressure to be brought to bear on Pyongyang and the UN Security Council is to meet later today. President Trump has promised federal aid to storm-hit Texas, but disaster reserves equivalent to 2.75 billion euros won't be enough. The bill for Hurricane Katrina ran to 52 billion. It's up to Congress to allocate extra funds, but Republicans may bulk at the price tag, and Texan representatives have voted previous rescue packages down. We will get through this. We will come out stronger. And believe me, we will be bigger, better, stronger than ever before. The rebuilding will begin, and in the end, it will be something very special. And I just want to thank everybody. It is, as Donald Trump said, an expensive situation. Wall Street analysts estimate insurance losses equivalent to 17 billion euros. U.S. taxpayers are likely to foot this bill, too, as the national flood insurance program is already broke. Televidente non stava in break, io ora non sto back e deporto con il nostro collega Carl Reiter. Vi data un fiesta immenso per ottavo mese e porco lo